Hi, Manita. Uh, uh, today I'm eating porridge with the salted fish, the bitter gut. And the uh, salted fish really tastes good. And uh, it's caught in the wild so, and it's organic. So it really goes well with porridge. Hi. Welcome. We meet again. Today, uh, we have cooked this dish. Uh, it's a uh, uh, wild wetlands called uh, Sapat Siam. Okay. It's also known as uh, Siamese Gromi. Uh, this is caught by my good friend, uh, fishing friend, Mr. Krishna Sami. He caught this somewhere in the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur in Dunkale, uh, in the wild wetlands. So the fish really tastes very nice. He has actually taken, put in a lot of effort to actually make this uh, salted fish with this uh, sapat siya. I would really like to thank Mr. Krishna Sami, my fishing friend, uh, and two thumbs up to him uh, for giving me this, uh, you know, uh, sapat siya, which is also known as a, a bubble nest builder or snake skin gurami or uh, Siamese gurami. Uh, he has really put in so much of effort and uh, in creating this, uh, you know, uh, salted fish from this wild fish he caught. It really reminds me of the taste of uh, salted gurami when uh, I used to be, you know, young those days. Uh, because maybe because uh, it is uh, like what Sugu said just now, it's organic, uh, it's wild caught, and. There's no chemicals of what or whatever involved in this uh, making of this salted fish. It's so yummy and tasty, and it smells also awesome. Aroma is so nice. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Krishnasamy. Or you can also use anchovies or uh, uh, crocker salted fish, or even you can use a uh, salted uh, cod or. Or uh, even if, if it, that's not available, you can also use uh, like smoked salmon to replace this uh, salted fish I've been using. The, the main ingredient which, which is giving the flavor here is the fermented uh, black beans, the Chinese fermented black beans, which you can get in most of the Chinese stocks, uh, Chinese shops in Chinatown. It really tastes good. Try, um, must try, try to cooking at home. Mm, you must, you, you guys must try this recipe. Try it out. Use whatever salted fish available. It's about 100 grams only. So, try this recipe and uh, subscribe to our channel and please do a, give us a thumbs up if the recipe is nice and uh, give us some positive comments. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Take Thanks care. for watching. Bye bye. Let's go on and have a look at the main ingredients for our dishes. 250 grams of uh, bitter gourd. You can choose a nice one piece. One bitter gourd will do uh, it is about uh, 250 grams. About uh, 100 grams of this uh, salted fish. Uh, very important ingredient here is this fermented black beans. And then uh, we'll use about uh, three cloves of garlic and three slices of ginger. and. Uh, half of this uh, red medium sized onion uh, this onion the other half will be used for making the one more dish the one more dish is the pineapple and a cucumber salad uh, the pineapple and cucumber salad we need just, just only about a quarter of the pineapple and uh, one uh, medium sized cucumber and one uh, red chili with the other half of the onion we reserve from the other dish. First, we will cut open the bitter gourd into halves. Wow, it's beautiful. It's not really very young and it's not overripe. Just nice. Using a spoon, we shall remove the seeds and the inner white pulp of this uh, bitter gourd. Just, uh, yeah, just dig it out and it should come out very easily
we shall now cut the bitter gourd into bite-sized triangular strips. Add half teaspoon heaped salt to the bitter gourd pieces. Mix well. Uh, make sure the all the parts are coated nicely with salt and keep it aside. While the bitter gourd pieces are marinating in the salt, uh, let's go on to uh, clean the salted fish and prepare the other ingredients. Once we have uh, scaled, uh, removed all the scales and uh, cleaned the fish thoroughly, uh, let's uh, cut the salted fish into uh, thin strips of, of about uh, uh, one inch thick. The salted fish has been cut to size. Let's keep it aside. Uh, let's now prepare the pineapple. Uh, we'll uh, clean it, uh, remove the skins and cut to the desired size. We'll need to remove these hard center core of the pineapple. It's uh, very fibrous and uh, really doesn't have any taste in it. So we'll remove that and slice the uh, other pieces to desirable sizes. We'll use the uh, cucumber with the skin on and uh, remove the bitter juices like so. First, we will cleave the cucumber into half cm slices. We will uh, further cut the slices into half cm strips and keep them aside. We'll use uh, one teaspoon rice vinegar, equal amount of honey, that's a uh, one teaspoon of honey. Add quarter teaspoon heaped salt and uh, mix well. Keep stirring until uh, all the ingredients are dissolved and our vinaigrette for our salad is ready. Toss the bitter gourd pieces once in a while while we are preparing the other ingredients so that the bitter juices from the bitter gourd can come out very easily mix it very well after preparing all the other ingredients we'll now blanch the bitter gourd we don't have to actually wash the bitter gourd before throwing it into the boiling water cooking the bitter gourd which we have marinated with salt uh, in this boiling water uh, will help to remove some of the bitterness. Uh, we don't have to wash the bitter gourd before we put it into the boiling water. Uh, uh, just need to uh, cook it for about 3 to 4 minutes to achieve the desired tenderness and crunchiness which we want, want for our, our, our dish. Uh, once uh, the 3 to 4 minutes is up, uh, we can remove all the bitter gourd from the boiling water and keep it, keep it aside. Okay, now we have blanched the bitter gourd. You see, we have actually cut the bitter gourd uh, in a triangular manner. Okay, it's broad here, and all the pieces are broad here and tiny, very, very thin, uh, elongated and thin design. The idea is to actually make sure the bitter gourd is 
cook very well here and it's, it's soft. And then the, this side is about three quarter cooked and crunchy. So when we eat this uh, bitter gourd, you'll get a uh, few, few different tastes in just one bite of a bitter gourd. This, this is the whole idea. So that, that's why we didn't cut it in a uniform size. So it's, it's in a triangular shape. From 3 cm of ginger, we'll need only about 4 thin slices. Crush the 3 cloves of garlic and chop them into small pieces. One half of the onion, we'll quarter it and uh, peel them into petals and put them aside to be used for the bitter gourd and salted fish dish. Slice the other half of the onion into thin strips for the salad dish. Cut the red chilli into thin slices for our garnishings. Now our main ingredients are prepared and ready. Let's begin cooking. Heat up 3 tablespoons of cooking oil in a pot or a pan. Spread the oil to cover the whole pot or the pan. Once the oil is hot and ready, we'll throw in the cut uh, salted fish pieces and start to fry them. If you have an oil splatter guard, use it. Stir and turn the parts frequently so that all the parts cook evenly and turn golden brown. Once all the pieces are cooked and browned evenly, uh, lower down the heat and remove them and keep them aside. In the remaining oil, there's a lot of flavor. So we will saute the ginger slices in that oil. Uh, keep stirring nicely because so that the ginger slices don't get burned because they are very thin. When the ginger starts to give a very nice aroma, we will throw in the chopped garlic and saute them together. Keep stirring so that the garlic doesn't get burnt. Throw in the 1 tablespoon of fermented black beans. Mix, stir and temper this, all these condiments, the ginger, garlic and uh, black beans until we get a very nice mixed aroma. Add 1 cup of mineral water or just plain tap water. Keep stirring until the mixture comes to a boil. I'm adding quarter teaspoon heaped salt here. If your salted fish is too salty, do not add any more salt. Now we can stir in the onion which we quartered, peeled and uh, separated into petals. Throw in the blanched bitter gourd and uh, mix evenly so that all the parts of the bitter gourd get uh, coated evenly with the sauce we have created yeah, just mix nicely evenly yeah, mix evenly now is the time to stir in the uh, fried salted fish which we have prepared earlier stir and mix and coat all the ingredients evenly Cover and simmer for about a minute. Now we'll stir in half teaspoon heat uh, brown sugar you can also use jaggery garnish with some slices of red chili 
finish off with some ground black pepper and it's done you can start serving it Before serving, let's prepare the easy to make pineapple and cucumber salad. In a bowl, add the cucumber we have prepared earlier. Throw in the pineapple slices. Top it up with the thin slices of onion. Pour in the vinaigrette we prepared earlier. Don't add any oil to the vinaigrette as we do not want our meal to be too greasy. We shall now mix everything together. Garnish with the slices of red chilli and we are done. And that's just for two. Yummy and inviting.